713, welcome back. Olympic gold, the Order of Canada, Walk of Fame, and a world record 190 goals. So what's next for Christine Sinclair after she hangs up her cleats at BC Place Stadium tonight? Sportsnet's Arash Madani sat down with the 40-year-old soccer legend for this exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. Even after all the goals and all the years and all the moments, Christine Sinclair still doesn't get caught up in the hype. I'm pretty boring, so yeah. It's kind of wild, isn't it? Here you have the most prolific goal scorer in the history of international football, the figure behind some of the wildest moments in Canadian sport. And now they're naming the stadium in your name for a day. So weird. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, it's it's a tremendous honor now to be able to close out my international career at that same field uh, in front of all my friends and family. Um, yeah, I can't even imagine. You think about Canadian hockey, it's probably Wayne Gretzky. And you think about a you know, Canadian athlete icon, it's Terry Fox. Like, when you talk about Canadian soccer, it's you. Pretty darn proud of that. My next thought is, like, my teammates have to be right there with me um, because we've, we've literally done this all together. Um, I just have happened to score some goals. A lot of them. A lot of them. But no, I mean, I'm proud of that. I mean, I've given my life to this sport since I was four. I'm like proud of the shift I've put in. <laughs> Absolutely. In her first move after the BC Place finale on Tuesday, Sinclair will be launching a new foundation. It's the Girls with Goals program, wanting to do her part to help young females in this country have a legit shot to make it in sport. I grew up poor and soccer has become a sport for the wealthy. And if I didn't have help growing up, I would have had to have quit. Um, but my parents never let that happen. You never know where the next superstar is gonna be um, and someone shouldn't not be able to play and not be able to reach their dreams because of, of money. Sinclair's ticket allotment is over 150 seats for Tuesday night's celebration. But the two people she really would have wanted there are gone. Her father Bill died a few months before the 2016 Rio Olympics. And then last year, Sandy Sinclair passed away. Both of them like would be so mad that they're not there. I just I hope they're proud. That's my biggest thing, like, yeah, everything I've done is because of the help and support they've given me, and yeah, just hope I've made them proud along the way. What a great story. Her final game being played tonight in Vancouver.